On his CBT release, I hosted a live stream to uncover what Jorm, the latest hero for testing, was all about. Since then, there was some massive changes to his toolkit, his weapon, and folks weren't sure if he was badly nerfed. Well, just look on the bright side. He doesn't need buffs because he could just steal yours. Yikes. Jorm is a PvP-designed chronomancer hero. His kit seems based around jumping in, transforming to fear enemies, removal of ground, fields, and effects, and clearing the way for his allies while taking the brunt of the damage. My testing and opinions are based on the current CBT patch. He did hit the Live China servers this week, so other tweaks could potentially happen before hitting the other overseas servers. I did some testing with his updated kit to understand him a bit better and see how he looks and feels. I think he has a lot of potential primarily in GVG. Some may even think he works well as an Emp Breaker, which I can confirm he can hit the Emp with his auto attack. So this could be a potential usage for him. I had some questions about his PvE usage, and he seems to do just fine in the usual weeklies such as Oracle, Purgatory, or Chaos, but I had a hard time getting him to speed kill the legendary bosses fast enough to avoid the mechanics. I wouldn't say this test is anything definitive, but I will say he does seem primarily designed for PvP. So what kind of interactions does he have for PvP? Well, on transformations he fears around him. He can also single target stone enemies and drop his snake field to reduce the enemy CC resistances to help his allies burn down those enemies. He can also steal those buffs. The way this works is that an enemy is marked, and the next time they cast buff spells, he can take them for himself. As you can see here, when I did a Saint prepare for Elite, all my buff animations went off at the same time on him. I find that a bit scary and wild. But he could potentially take buffs like White Barrier, Lord's Aura, and even a multitude of essential Novice Guardian buffs. Also while in snake form, he can transform other field and trap effects into his snake field briefly, and then disperse. I did a lot of extensive testing trying to find something he couldn't eat, but just about anything that sits on the ground gets affected. Let's take a look at spells that he eats, and how it looks.
Many asked about dances from performers, and he does not seem to affect them. But he does eat severe rainstorm for breakfast. Oh, and reverberation too was another ground one. Something I noticed in Oracle was that certain drop spells from the monsters also got removed. I didn't see this happen in legendary tests I did so far, but maybe there's some other funny interactions that others might figure out once it hits the live regions. With his T5 weapon changed recently to being in snake form, he is magic immune. This sounds really silly strong, but he can still be affected by CC and similar effects. Due to how his snake form interacts with ground effects, there are some strange interactions that have to do with placement of the enemy's ground effects versus him. I think that desync and lag might be an issue with playing and countering Joram. You could still use things such as flame net, close confine, dorm root if casted directly beneath him, and similar effects. Wormhole from Chrono, activating Black Hole also causes him to pause in place. If a Chrono tries to use Black Hole while Jorm has the T5 book, it will not work, because it needs to deal magic damage. Without the book though, it does work. The one spell that seemed to stop his attacks completely though was Stasis from Mages. This could potentially be a hard counter to him. He looks really interesting, and I think he could definitely change the meta up for sure if he could stay alive long enough in intense battles. How does he look to you? Think you might try him out? Maybe you got a good look at how his interactions work? Or at least amused. Hopefully not too frightened. Please be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on more hero previews, CPT sneak peeks, and more on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one adventure. Let's guard the eternal love together.